Hi, I'm Sune, and I'm a food geek. Today we're going to be looking at how salt affects the yeast in a starter. If you're new to this channel, I make a lot of videos about sourdough and delicious food from all over the world. My quest is to get the most out of every ingredient, and I want to teach you how to do that in simple and understandable steps. So join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. So in all literature, we are told that we need to uh, wait with adding salt in the dough until later in the process because the salt inhibits the growth of the yeast. Today I decided to figure out if that's true, so I constructed this experiment to see what happens when you add salt to the starter, which should be exactly the same as when you add it to the dough, just with fewer variables. For the experiment, I have five different glasses with starter, each fed at 1-1-1, which means there's the same amount of starter to flour to water and weight. The final weight is approximately 198 grams, since my larger scale can only measure in whole grams. So I weighed out 66 grams of each ingredient, which means there's between 198 to 200 grams in each glass. A bit was probably lost during mixing anyway. The amount of salt was measured on my tiny scale, which can measure down to two decimals on the gram. So for 1%, I weighed out 2.00 grams of fine salt. The five glasses from left to the right contain no salt, which is the control, 1%, 1.5%, 2%, and 2.5%. I chose these percentages since it seems to be the range that recipes usually use. The time lapse was recorded with a picture taken every 10 seconds, which means that 10 hours worth of starter footage was turned into two and a half minutes worth of footage. My assumption is that the starter will grow at the same pace, thus peak around the same time. My other assumption is that the more salt we add, the more the growth will be stumped. So the one with the most salt will grow the least. Afterwards, I will share my thoughts on what we saw, so stick around until the end. Now all we need is a timer. Let's have a look at the time lapse.
Well, that was interesting. I guess it just shows that what you assume and what reality is, uh, is not always the same. In general, the presence of salt inhibits the growth of the starter significantly. It looks like that between one and a half to two percent, it inhibits it the least, except of course for the control, which is interesting because I'm always using around two percent in my dough, but that's for taste though. So how can we use this in our baking? Well, we can't use it directly because I think we should always salt for taste. The salt helps the natural flavors of the flour to come out and makes for a more delicious bread. I guess it could be interesting to do uh, taste experiments with different amounts of salt in the bread to see how it impacts taste using the same recipe with nothing else changed but the amount of salt. Maybe 1% or 3% of salt is much better or possibly worse. It should be a blind test though. I hope you found this interesting and that you learned something. If you want to get recipes for sourdough breads or videos to help you score your bread or maximize your oven spring, you should check out my playlist with helpful videos in the card above. Remember to subscribe and ring the bell and I will see you next week.